This is the solution video for question four from paper one of the 2019 TMUA exam. In this question, we're given a sequence Xn and we're told a couple of things about Xn. We're told that the first term X1 is 10 and the n plus one term is the square root of the nth term. And with all this information, we're asked to find what's the value of x100. For this 100th term, we're given a variety of different options. We're given these eight. Uh, so 10 to the 2 to the 99, 10 to the 2 to the 100, 10 to the 2 to the minus 99, 10 to the 2 to the minus 100. And similar for the last four, 10 to the minus 2 to the 99, 10 to the minus 2 to the 100. 10 to the minus 2 to the minus 99 and 10 to the minus 2 to the minus 100. So given like this, this sequence is it's quite hard to imagine what it looks like. Uh, so let's write out a few terms and see where that goes and see if we can see what's going on better. So what's our first term? Well, we know our first term is 10. That's easy enough, and our second term is 10 to the half. So I've used a, a power of a half here rather than using a square root because we're going to be introducing a lot uh, of square roots or half powers. And it's a lot easier to follow and, and understand what's going on if we use the fractions because we can times the fractions together in having, instead of having an absolute mess of square roots. And you'll see this now in the facts. If we consider our third term, we've got 10 to the half to the half and similarly fourth to 10 to the half to the half to the half and you'll see where this comes into play now because we want to write these a little bit nicer so in our first term 10 second term 10 to the half they're, they're simple enough but our third term we know with this arrangement of powers we can just times this half by this half and this is where using these half powers rather than these, these square roots really comes to the fore because we see we can write this as 10 to the quarter. And similarly, half, 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 times them all together, 10 to the eighth. And now we can start to see a pattern, or see a pattern that's quite easily readable. From this, you could probably tell me what x5 would be. But then we look at our answers, and none of these look particularly like this. So let's try and write these terms in the way of these and hopefully something will come out. So first one we can write 10 to the 2 to the 0 because 2 to the 0 is just 1. Now 10 to the half, what's a half? Well a half we could just write as 2 to the minus 1. So that's right that's 10 to the 2 to the minus 1. Similarly for this a quarter is 2 to the minus 2 because it's 1 over 2 squared. So 10 to the 2 to the minus 2 and then you can probably guess 10 to the 8th 10 to the 2 to the minus 3. So now we do have a pattern quite easy to spot. x1, 10 to the 2 to the 0, x2, 10 to the 2 to the minus 1. If we extend this down, you can fairly easily see because four, once we've got a fourth term, we go one less with a power here. And the hundredth term is 10 to the 2 to the minus 99. We know this is what it's going to look like. And if we look at our answers, we see that this matches with C. And so we know our hundredth term is this, and our answer is C.